Hello future professional engineers, this is Vasim Asghar. I'm a licensed professional engineer in the US and Canada. I've authored several books on the topic of FE Electrical and Computer Exam and the PE Power Exam. In this video, I'm going to go over a question related to Thevenin Theorem, which I received from one of my students during a live training session for FE Electrical and Computer Exam preparation. Those of you who are preparing for FE Electrical and Computer Exam know that Thevenin Theorem shows under Circuit Analysis, which is Section 6 of FE Electrical and Computer Exam, and it can be quite confusing if you don't approach it properly. A few moving pieces in Thevenin Theorem which I am going to systematically address in this video. But before we dive into the content, I would really appreciate if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. On a weekly basis, I am posting content related to FE Electrical and Computer Exam Preparation as well as a PE Power Exam Preparation and the broader electrical engineering topics in general. And for more details about my FE Electrical and PE Power Exam Preparation programs, please visit my website www.studyforfe.com. So without further ado, let's dive into the content. Thevenin theorem. So I don't know if you're still there, David. So this was a very good question that a student sent me. And the student was like, was seeing KCL practice problem. No, actually, this is not KCL practice problem. This is Thevenin problem. But anyways, the problem is dealing with Thevenin. I am going through your on-demand course and I'm struggling with understanding why you chose to do a circuit using Thevenin differently in your videos. In one video, you found R Thevenin using all the resistors. And in the first problem of your additional practice problems, you chose to remove the 2K ohm resistor. Can you explain why you did that? I attached the two images as a reference to what I am talking about. So really thoughtful of uh, the student to actually make my life a little bit easier by including the two screenshots. Sometimes I get really open-ended questions and they can be very difficult to answer. The easier you make it for me to follow your train of thought, the easier I will be able to respond back. So uh, this is a problem from the study guide and this is a problem from additional practice problems within the lecture, right? Both of these I solved in the, in the, in the course. In this problem, right, when I'm calculating R Thevenin, I decided to leave the 2K in. In this problem, very similar problem, I took the 2K out. So what is the difference, right? The question statement gives you a little bit of a hint, uh, a little bit of a hint. And really what sets these problems apart is the labeling, the way that the resistors are identified. So in this case, Thevenin resistance of circuit given in previous problem with respect to terminals A and B is what? With respect to A and B. Did I identify 2K resistor as yeah voc is there as well but let's say you didn't even you were not even given voc okay 2k resistor did i identify the 2k resistor as an output resistor as a load resistor uh, did i identify this uh, uh, the voltage across this as v output or v not no i did not so that basically means that these are the two and you can connect anything right to the circuit these are the two terminals. If I create a black box and consider that everything between these two terminals is a black box and there are two terminals that are sticking out, A and B, correct? This needs to be converted into Thevenin. Is that clear? Now, when I focus on the second circuit, Right. What I see over here is that use the Thevenin theorem to calculate VOC, open circuit voltage, R Thevenin, V naught for the given circuit below. I am calling this as the output voltage. Output voltage is going to appear across what type of resistor? Output resistor, load resistor, stuff that is going to be connected ultimately in series with this. So this is the R out. Does it make sense guys? Okay. So now if this is my output resistor over here, then what I need to do, I need to take it outside, remove it, and then introduce the terminals to look into the circuit. 
And that's why what I did in the first step is I took this outside and then I created these terminals through which I'm going to be calculating my VOC and our terminal. Is that clear? Okay. In circuit number one, what you have over here is A and B terminals sticking out and the rest of the circuit black boxes given to you. Right? So everything that is circled over here is basically the circuit that needs to be converted into a thevenin equivalent. In this circuit, what you have is your R, theven, R output because it's identified as V output, the voltage across it as V output, right? To this, you have this A and B, and to this, you have your Thevenin equivalent circuit, right? So when I'm solving for this piece, I should not include my R output in it. That's why I take the R output, and then bring the terminals here. Is it clear? Okay. And in the live training and in the on-demand as well, I went over this in quite a bit of detail. If you still have any questions, feel free to ask me. But this was a very good question, a repeated question, right? When students are going through this for the first time, it can be confusing. When do I leave it in? When do I leave it out? When do I take it out? Okay. All right. So identify the load resistor and or the circuit terminals, right? Thevenin and circuit terminals, right? If load resistor is given, take it out and mark the terminals. If terminals are given, look into the circuit through the terminals. In other words, if you know that this is the boundary of your Thevenin circuit and anything extra can be connected, then this is your Thevenin circuit, which you have to solve. You don't need to take anything out of it, right? But if the circuit is given to you with an R output, R load connected, then you have this type of a scenario. You need to demarcate, you need to clearly identify the limits of the Thevenin, and that is done by actually taking this R Thevenin out. If you like this video, then please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section of this video below. You can find tons of success stories of my FE Electrical and P Power students over here. And if you want to learn more about preparation of FE Electrical and Computer Exam and the P Power Exam, then check out these playlists over here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next video.